Uh, in this uh, last uh, tutorial, we're going to edit a uh, RTC scenario. Uh, we'll see uh, how we can change things, uh, add comments, do validation, and then uh, delete uh, a rule that uh, we no longer want to use. Uh, OK, uh, so first, uh, let's uh, open this network. Uh, and we're going to create a, a, a new scenario uh, to uh, do this exercise. Uh, so I'm going to show you a different way to do that. You can click on this button. Uh, and let's say create, and we're going to copy uh, the uh, pump control two, and we'll call that pump control three. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, you say select. So make sure it's switched to control three, and also the scenario says it's pump control three. Uh, next, uh, we're going to uh, edit the table. Uh, so again, you can use window, or you can just click on this button, uh, go RTC uh, editor. Okay, so here is uh, everything we have here. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to first uh, want to change the, the high range. I want to change this from 1.55 to 1.7. Uh, make sure you hit update so uh, this number will change. And then we're going to add a comment to document this change. We can say insert independent and comment. Uh, we'll just, we can say, uh, let's see uh, what the tutorial said exactly. So minimum changed from 1.55 to 1.7. Uh, we can hit update. Okay, uh, and you can you can move things around. So this one, if it's for the high range, you can move that uh, just closer to the high range. Okay. Uh, in the next, uh, we're going to do a validation uh, to make sure all the rules make sense. Uh, so uh, you you can put rules that contradict each other, and this uh, validation will help you to pick up these uh, errors. We can right-click here and say full validation. Uh, you can see uh, everything is here. So it said total number of errors is zero, uh, and here is just a uh, English description of the logic here. Uh, so everything's fine here. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to uh, get rid of the time off. Uh, so to do that, uh, so we can just go here and say right click. Uh, we say remove dependent. So we got rid of the range, and we also need to get rid of the uh, rule. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's pretty much everything we want to change. Uh, and, and we can close this, and then we're going to validate this network. Pump three. And we're going to save this. Uh, edited in pump control three. Okay, we don't need to validate this. Good. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to run another simulation. We can say this one we increase the level and make sure you hit this button, the latest, and we're going to just run. Pump control three. Okay, so let's run the simulation. Uh, I can call this. Okay, so it's done. Let's, let's take a look of the results. Uh, so let's see what it looks like. You can see we can click on that. Uh, pump state. You can see after that. Uh, so uh, you know it only uh, was on once. Uh, so also let's take a look of the level in the wet well level okay uh, so again uh, to make it easier to see uh, let's just uh, adjust it a little bit for this one let's just uh, limit the range to uh, one two maybe one two two Okay, you can see it's only turned on once. So let's try to compare that with uh, the original setup. So right click here, we say open as uh, alternative results for comparison. Okay, now you can see uh, it overlay the green one is the original. Uh, you can see because we increase the level, uh, so that's uh, the level keeps going up until 1.7 started to pump. Before it was 1.55, uh, so, uh, you know, once it reached 1.55, it started to pump, 
and it lowers uh, to 1.5, stop pumping. Uh, it just keeps doing this. As, uh, you can show uh, everything here. And that concludes uh, this uh, tutorial.